Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'll be reviewing the entire collection from Emerge. Emerge is a newer line they launched at Target and it's black owned. So I was really excited to try this when these first launched. It took me a while to get them, but Emerge finally sent me the entire collection. But although they did send me all these products, this video is not sponsored. I'm going to give my full and honest review per usual. And not only am I going to give my two cents, you guys my subscribers, my Instagram followers are going to be reviewing these products with me. So I put up a little question in my Instagram story and I said, hey, what's the tea on these products? How do they work for you? What do you like? What don't you like? And you guys went in on these products. So I'm gonna share all the things that you had to say about these products. And then I'm also gonna give my two cents and show you how I applied everything. So in the collection they have the It's Not Happening Sulfate Free Shampoo, cute names, and the Smooth Mover Conditioner. Then they also have some styling products. They have the Emerge Style Goals Gel. They have the Your Main Bestie, oh, that's cute, I like these names, Leave-In Conditioner. They also have a Back to Life Hair Mask and the works buttercream pretty much cream styler so they have a pretty legit collection i think they give you everything you need cleanser conditioner deep conditioner a gel cream styler leave-in like that's just the basics of what i think every curly hair launch or line needs first thing i noticed is the packaging pretty cute simple geometric but these are also really big bottles so these shampoo and conditioner are 16 fluid ounces where on average a lot of products are like 10 or 12 and even these masks let's see the mask is 15 ounces the cream is 15 ounces gel is 11 ounces and then the leave-in is another 15 ounces so you get a good amount of product and they're super affordable every single product is only $6.99 so for seven dollars that's a lot of product and I love when each product is just the same price it makes my life easier so for basically seven dollars each you can get the entire collection for forty two dollars not bad but do they work Let's get into it. So let's start off with the shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo is probably the best smelling out of the whole line. They pretty much all smell the same, but this one just smells a little bit better. Across the board, it has like a floral lotion scent. One of the most common responses that I'm gonna read from you guys is that you guys hate the smell. It smells so bad. I hate the smell. Trash. It smells so bad. Meh. The smell, barf face emoji. Terrible, smells like a funeral. <laughs> it's okay, trash can emoji. Woo, so um, after reading all those, I was like, I'm not gonna like these products. I think I got maybe three responses that said they did like the smell, but the majority of people do not like the smell. So I'm really big on smells. Luckily, it doesn't linger in my hair, but it just doesn't make you excited to use it. The It's Not Happening Sulfate Free Shampoo says it's for curly and coily textures. It's supposed to cleanse and detangle, and it's infused with almond milk. Almond milk isn't something I'm usually like excited to have in my products, but um, it's in there. I would never detangle with my shampoo. It's claiming you can. I did it and wasn't able to. It's definitely not like a very harsh or stripping shampoo, but I mean, it was cool. It got the job done. Once I rinse it out, I then grab the Smooth Mover Conditioner. Moisturizing and softening, also infused with almond milk. Why would you want your shampoo to be detangling, but it doesn't say detangling on the conditioner? Well, that's interesting because I was not able to detangle with this conditioner. I applied a pretty legit amount, like this was after one use, I already made a dent. And as you can see, I was struggling. Like I could not detangle. It wasn't giving me any moisture or help. It just kind of sat there and it was really frustrating. And usually when I can't finger detangle, that's like the first sign that something's going on. And then of course I forgot my Be Hairful brush outside the shower. So I had to detangle with like other brushes that just weren't getting the job done. So yeah, the conditioner is a no. It's a no for me, dog. 
The smell is pretty strong in this one, so I wasn't happy about the smell, wasn't happy about the detangling. I will probably never use this again. After struggling to detangle my curls, I finally got through it, and then I added the Emerge Back to Life hair mask. This hair mask is supposed to deep condition and revive your curls infused with almond milk, and it's a pretty big tub with that same, ugh, this was probably the worst smell out of all of them. But applying it, it just didn't really feel like very moisture rich. It just felt like I was putting it on, it was there. I don't know. It kind of feels more like a normal conditioner instead of like a deep hair mask. So it says to leave on for about 15 minutes. I put it under a shower cap, just kind of finished the rest of my shower. I ended up shaving with the conditioner because I'm never gonna use that on my hair again. But then I rinsed it out and I don't know. I feel like I just rinsed it out. I don't see like a huge difference. What did you guys have to say about the hair mask? I tried the deep conditioner and it felt like I didn't have anything on my hair still. Try the deep conditioner, smells bad. I use it as a normal conditioner so it doesn't go to waste. I can see that. The deep conditioner is okay. I prefer to have more slip, but that's the only thing I've tried from them. The deep conditioner is okay. I prefer to have more slip. The deep conditioner got me, but when I try the rest of the line, no. The deep conditioner is literally amazing. Oh, huh, well, there's a good one. I've only tried the deep conditioner. I love it. It gives my curls definition and moisture. I've only used the deep conditioner. It was okay, but not the best. But I love the price. I love the hair mask. Love it. So the general consensus of the deep conditioner is that it's pretty basic. It might as well just be the conditioner. It's an affordable option if you need something, but I don't think it's anybody's favorite. So after a pretty mediocre shower, I just, I wasn't very optimistic about the styling products, but I continued. You also know I don't usually really use leave-in conditioners because I usually like a lot of hold. And if you use a leave-in first, it's going to make your gel not be as hard, but I wanted to try them all. So I started off my styling with the leave-in conditioner. This is called Your Main Bestie, love the name, for curly and coily textures, nourishing and smoothing, infused with Pequi oil. The leave-in conditioner felt decent. It wasn't like extremely moisturizing. Then on top of it, I cocktailed with the Style Goals Gel. Definition and control. This is claiming to have no hard crunch ever, which I kind of like. It's supposed to give you definition, slick hold. So maybe it could be used to like slick down ponytails. Haven't tried that yet. Alcohol free formula. It's not really a thick gel. It's a pretty thin consistency. I'm also a fan of the squeeze tube. Let's see what you had to say about the gel. I used the gel for coily hair. It was too watery for my type four curls. I got frizz. The gel is water in a gel bottle. <laughs> the gel turns into water. It was runny before, but it's even more now. Not exciting, gel is crazy returned. <laughs> the gel sucks. <laughs> Absolute garbage. The gel is the equivalent of bottled water with a tablespoon of actual gel in it. Well, the gel is super lightweight. I think it's good if you use the gel to refresh. The gel is watery. I feel like I had to use a lot. The hair gel is okay. Watery. The gel is liquid compared to my eco gel, but I was shook on how well it worked. See, okay, there's one. I'm not alone there. So with the gel, I mean, I would agree that it is pretty watery, so I could see it maybe not doing enough for certain hair types. So after I applied the leave-in conditioner and the gel, I then let it sit for a little bit and then I diffused. After I diffused, these were my very surprising results. It looked really good even on day one, and it's really hard for me to like my day one curls, but my curls look really defined. They look shiny and moisturized. I was really happy and surprised, especially after reading all of your comments. But now I still had one more styler to try out, which is the Works Butter Cream. So now let's skip to this morning when I refreshed with the cream. And we're back with my day two curls. I slept with my hair in a pineapple using a satin scrunchie from Lily Silk. And now let's assess the damage. Looks pretty good. For not having really any hold yesterday, the curls are still defined. Gonna have to do a little refreshing. 
Although I'm tempted to use the gel again on its own to refresh, I still want to try another product in their line, which is the Curl Definition and Softness Infused with Paquis Oil for moisture-rich, frizz-free curl definition, sulfate, paraben, silicone free. This might be a really easy refresh for this cream as long as it doesn't weigh down my hair because my hair still looks really good from yesterday's little combo. But I'm gonna add some water. And yes, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday. I don't have enough outfits to be wearing two things per video. It's actually not that thick. It's actually still pretty lightweight. Kind of like a watery cream. But let's see what this does. See if this will add some moisture to my refresh curls because your hair might get a little dry throughout the week. Fortunately, I did not continue to smell the products in my hair yesterday. So I'm hoping this cream also doesn't linger. So I'm let this air dry, see how it goes, maybe do a little diffusing, then we'll come back and see how this buttercream, buttercream, buttercream does my curls. And this is my hair after diffusing. I gotta say I'm pretty surprised. After reading all the comments from you guys, I had very, very, very low expectations, but my hair actually looks really good. Um, the smell isn't really there anymore. My curls look still very defined, but I don't know if I can give all the credit to the styling cream. It could be because of the gel from the previous day, so I'm not sure how the cream would work completely on its own straight out the shower. I kind of feel like it wouldn't have enough hold for me, especially to get throughout the week, but starting off with a gel and then having remnants of the gel to then refresh with the cream, it's giving me good results. While diffusing my hair and I was scrunching it, I did notice that I kind of had like a little bit of a sticky or film-like feeling on my hands. The cream was lightweight enough for my low porosity fine hair, but I could see this being not moisturizing enough for those that have thick, dense, or coarser hair. So you might want to do a leave-in with the cream and see how much moisture that gets you. My day two curls always do look better than day one but like I'm getting these really nice ringlets and I got some pretty good volume. They're pretty good. So these are all the responses I got. Let's see how many liked it. It worked well for me, but the smell, very strong grandma vibes. <laughs> love, love, love. I especially love the cream and gel. I love the deep conditioner. Deep conditioner is literally amazing. I love their styling gel. I love the deep conditioner. Really, really good. You get so much for 15 ounces for less. Amazing. Love it. Love it. It's amazing. Love. Amazing, 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 amazing. And that's it for the positive comments. So overall, based on my personal experience and after reading all of your comments, these products are pretty average. They're not anyone's favorite, but they're also not like the worst ever. I can recommend them in the sense that they don't have any harsh or bad ingredients for your hair. They're super affordable. It's a black owned brand. They're easily available at Target, but they're not like my favorite. They wouldn't be the first products that I recommend to you guys when definitely starting off your curly hair journey. But if you just need something that's like cheap, easy, you get a lot for your money, this could be a decent option. I do want to continue to try this gel like for a full week. This is pretty much like a first impressions video. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can watch my stories and see if this product gets better with time, worse with time, maybe on its own it might have some more hold. As a first impression, I am impressed with my results. I don't really like the smell or like the feeling on my hair, but it did make my curls very defined and they look pretty moisturized. I'm not excited to use this line again, especially when us product junkies have so many products to choose from. You gotta be really bomb for me to grab for you versus the other 90 products on my shelf. So thank you all for letting me know your honest opinion on these products. I think I want to continue to do this so I can actually include your opinions in my videos. I know people think that 
YouTubers and influencers are biased, but I'm always gonna give you guys the truth. These products were sent to me for free, but they don't even know that I'm making this video and I'm giving you guys what you need to know. I can't wholeheartedly be like, these are the best products ever, knowing how many people weren't satisfied with them. So if you wanna be able to join the conversation, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you can watch my stories and give me your inputs on what you think about the products that I'm about to review. If you enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. You also can follow me on Twitter and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank you.